YouTube people, and don't get alarmed. This is AJ Tech, just without the dreads. So, yes, it's gone. I cut it off. Uh, back to my old self. Oh, you know, get a change, get a regular look. So, the dreads are gone, but yes, this is me. But uh, in this video, I want to talk about subwoofers. And uh, basically, that core size matter. And right here, I have a um, HD American Base 12 inch sub, as you will see. I don't know if you really can see that. I'll bring it closer to you. See, it wanted to hold on to the thing, so. Just things being difficult. But this is American Base HD Dual 112. Voila! As you see, it has a very huge booty. We call it something else, but. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. And when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. And it has a lot of people would think because of, of the motor. It has a huge, and this is heavy. A huge motor, a triple stack motor. Uh, that this it says it's 2,000 RMS watts. And some people would double that up and try to put 4K. And then wondering, well, wondering, probably after a couple of days or weeks, that they end up burning out their cell with them, When they don't realize that this cell has a three inch coil. So, and I know some people would probably, you know, especially the sundown owners, would be like, no, because, you know, I think they call this the uh, NSV3. I probably, uh, I'll look it up. Uh, usually, people, actually, I had a friend on Facebook who was talking about it, and he said he averagely put 7K on it on each of his 12s. But now he's looking for a recon for each of those 12. So that's a given. Then also people will say, well, it depends on your box size, which is true. But 3-inch coils, honestly, uh, I would say the max is 3,000 watts, RMS, 3,000. So I don't think you really shouldn't have to put too much power to that. You know, you really shouldn't, you really wouldn't want to. I think if you looking to do over 3k then go get you a sub with a four inch core so i wanted to speak on that because i've been getting a lot of questions from uh people in my group and facebook about that and uh they was just kind of like you know the motor look huge you know it does you know i try to show it to you one more time and it keeps loud <laughs> go to the table <laughs> oh my god i should have cut the other part off sorry Technical difficulties again. The motor is huge. I mean, this thing is huge, as you will see. Huge. So, and some people be like, okay, well, I know it probably say 2K RMS. I could double that because that's usually what we do. You know, with my SMD 18, you know, <laughs> I had 7K on it, you know, and it really. You know, then bust a sweat, but something like this with 7K, no, nah, it's not going to last long. Three inch core, SMD 18, four inch core, put four inch core, plus it's a quad stack motor, quad. So I wanted to kind of make a video about that. You know, I probably share it in the group, share it to other people, but I just begin a lot of questions because people are like, what's the difference between probably this and a kicker L7? And I'm like, well, you know, a L7 kicker, this is usually like 2.5 inch coils or sometimes 2 inch coils. And you just get, you know, to be modest, probably the most is 1K. You know and say 1K RMS. So people be quick to see if it's 1K, let's go put 2K in. No, you have to look at the coil size. That's why I say coil size matter. So if you know, okay, that's a 2 inch coil, probably putting no more than 1, 1k 1000 watts rms and 2.5 inch core probably no more than 1500 rms once you start moving up then you could kind of you know it also depends with the box too you could be like okay smaller box add more power but a three inch core probably no more than to me honestly three all you need is three uh, 3k watts so 
I wanted to kind of talk about this, getting a lot of questions about it. Uh, just kind of let you know, you guys know. This go for home theater, uh, car audio. Actually, I use car audio also for home theater, especially with the subs. So um, I got the box here. Let me just give you a brief thing. A box. Sorry for that. Basher look. I still got my SMD over there, but it's a lot of stuff on top of it. Um, I just wanted to do a video, kind of, you know, giving people a little insight on subwoofer, especially when it comes to coils and how much power and size and, you know, type of power you're probably going to need. But, short video. I'm glad it's short. I'm trying to keep it short. So, subscribe, share. Leave any, if you got any questions, you know what to do. Leave it in the comment box. I'll try to get to you as soon, as soon as I can. You know, till then, trust me, there's more videos coming. Uh, like I say, probably, I don't know, with the earphones, because I've still been trying to get my other bill with my bucket with the, with the Ford Escape, so. But more stuff coming. Uh, I got the, all the, well, y'all know that, but that's all the, um, the CT sounds. And stuff is up in there. It's fully up in the um, in the Ford Escape. So, but let me go ahead and end this short. I wanted to make it short. So, all right, AJ Tech. Till next time. Check you later, YouTube. Peace out.